Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much appreciated. This is going to be your um, weekly reading for uh, the 5th of November to the 9th of November. Um, it's just a short little five-day reading, but so far, Scorpio and Cancers were really long, so we're going to try to keep them a little shorter. They were supposed to be short little readings, but I'm doing the Celtic Cross, and there's been so much coming out that um, I literally had to extend the readings longer than they were supposed to be. So, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good for the Pisces reading, please send through the messages for anyone with Pisces placements. Please send through the most important messages for the people that need them most that will be guided to watch this reading on YouTube for November 5th to the 9th, 2019. For anyone with Pisces placements, what are the most important messages they need? Pisces. What else do Pisces need to know, please? two fell out here, so we're going to keep them together. Pisces. What else is important for Pisces? many just one or two please Pisces too many oh that's good there's two that's good all right felt like a lot more but it's only two we can do that what else do we need to know for this Pisces reading You got the Wheel of Fortune and the world both in reverse. But that's okay. It doesn't mean it's not coming. Uh, what's the outcome for Pisces, please? What's the outcome for the Pisces reading, please? Outcome for Pisces. Oops, too many. Pisces reading, please. There we go. All right. Let me see here. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Let me move this up a little bit. Alright, I definitely feel like some kind of an offer is coming in here with this page of wands. It feels like an offer, but it feels like you're reluctant to accept it with the four of cups here. Or vice versa. Could be that you're giving out the offer and someone else is reluctant. Um, with the five of cups and the sun both being here in reverse, I feel like there's been some, you know, depression about this. Four of cups, five of cups, and the sun all... Well, this is a challenge. This is These are reversed, right? So what I feel is going on here is someone's trying to overcome some depression, a little bit of sadness about something that's been going on. I do feel like with the Hierophant here in uh, the past, I feel like someone is definitely um, depressed about some kind of relationship, some kind of a union could be some, any kind of a contract, physical or spiritual. Um, could be, well, let's keep looking here. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So there's a cycle that wants to start here, but you still haven't completely closed out your last cycle with the world in reverse as well. Now, you are going to overcome all this 
stuff that's going on. With the Five of Swords here and the Six of Wands, that means you're going to overcome this. Whatever this is, you felt like someone was being a tyrant. They were trying to take advantage. Uh, I almost feel like there's just a un general unhappiness here. Let me look here in the past a little bit. Wow, here you are, Pisces, with the King of Swords together. Right after the Ten of Wands and dumping the burdens here. All right, so we have you and the King of Swords. So this is some kind of a relationship. We have the Four of Pentacles reversed. We're releasing this. There's a general unhappiness with the Three of Cups. Also not going to be reuniting in this union. All right, so you're going to overcome this with the uh, Six of Wands coming out with the Five of Swords. Here you're going to overcome it. There's a lot of unhappiness here. All right, so. Yeah, you're stuck. You're just not moving forward. You're not doing anything. You're, you're denying any kind of offers, not interested. Um, Page of Swords here in reverse. Yeah, there's been some kind of lying, some kind of spying, some kind of bull crap going on here. Um, yeah, you really want to close the cycle out, you're, but you're, I feel like you're a little bit stuck. But there's going to be forward movement. Six of Wands isn't only overcoming, it's also moving forward. I feel as though you've been a little bit stuck right now. Nothing's come, going forward at this moment, but it's about to. And once this hits and you get this forward movement, the Wheel of Fortune's going to come in. Well, the world's going to come in. You're going to end um, a cycle, and you're going to complete it. You're going to graduate from it. It's going to be a good thing. Oops, hold on one second, guys. Okay, so, and the outcome being the Devil and the Two of Swords. Wow. So, you know, this is really going to be your choice to release this toxic whatever it was. I mean, it's obviously toxic with the Five of Swords being here and with all this depression. Ugh. Whatever this was was generally unhappy. Sorry, guys, I'm putting some hand lotion on because cards really dry out your hands. Um, okay, so, yeah, this is going to be your choice, really. You're needing to make a choice about something that feels very toxic. I mean, even look at this person still watching her as she sun, sunbathes naked. Well, if you're going to sunbathe naked, you know, somebody's going to watch. But, um, you know, the general idea here is that you need to make a choice about something that's been very toxic. All this depression, very toxic. Lying and spying, I definitely feel like there's been some kind of lying and spying. Whether you're male or female, I feel like you're going through this. All right, so, and you know, the male Pisces, you're coming through as the King of Swords. A lot of times male Pisces come through as the King of Swords. I think it's because it's so close to Aquarius. Pisces and Aquarius are sister signs to each other. And the female Pisces, the same. I mean, you're both coming out in the upright, meaning you've been kind of stuck in some kind of toxic thing here. And you're, you're going to make the move. You're going to get out of it. You're going to bust forward. You're over, going to overcome this depression, this whatever it is that's been holding you back and you're gonna bust a move you're gonna make a decision about this you I feel like you are realizing that this could be very toxic very karmic very well it's been very unhappy to say the least all right let's um let's grab a few cards here too I'm gonna try to move this up just a little bit let's get a little clarity on the situation spirit and angels anyone for the highest good Please help us clarify this Pisces reading, November 5th to the 9th, 2019. Pisces reading for anyone with Pisces placements. Please help us clarify. All right, so we're going to get one um, on all this depression. Five of Cups, Sun, and the Sun, both in reverse. Why are they here? Someone was unable to see the beauty in something. This Four of Pentacles is all about someone literally being unable, blinded to the beauty of something. You're coming out of it. All this is being overcome. All right, great. Let's look at the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? 
Pisces reading. Okay, there we go. We got two that fell in the upright. Yeah, the Emperor reversed and the Two of Cups, definitely. This was about some kind of, like I said, partnership of some kind. And this person, Emperor in Reverse, is exactly the kind of person who does this sort of thing. You know, taking advantage of people, stabbing them in the back, being tyrannical. This is all going away. All right, this, but it's been very depressing. All right, why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please, in Reverse? Hopes, wishes, and dreams haven't been fulfilled yet. Well, they won't be until you can flip this in the upright. For now, everything's on hold. This has been unhappy. Nine of Cups reversed, again, is just more unhappiness that's been going on here. There is there is the hope for happiness here and wishes fulfilled once the wheel turns. Because of the position this is in, I feel like you are going to have something that you really wanted you're gonna end up victorious in the situation but right now um there's a few things that got to give first you got to get over this depression that you've been through i feel like you are you're going to tackle it you're going to come you're going to definitely tackle it for some of you you could have been dealing with um a fire sign aries leo sagittarius um for some of you that's really all i'm feeling all right, let's keep going. For, I mean, you know, it could be anybody, but they could be in that um, energy. All right, let's look at the Page of Wands and the Four of Cups. Why are they here? Page of Wands is your, is, I'm sorry, crossed by the uh, Four of Cups. Why? Why is the Page of Wands and Four of Cups? Okay, we got a bunch, but we're going to check them out. Wow, okay, so we have the Queen of Swords reversed. That's probably you, Pisces women. We have the Moon in reverse. This is uh, somebody who's definitely not feeling really happy about anything. And we have the Ace of Swords reverse. There's been a lack of clarity in the situation. Again, this is lack of clarity when it's in the upright, so you're getting that clarity back. Lack of clarity, there's been emotions involved in this. Uh, there's a general unhappiness in this, like I said. There could have been lies. Like I said, there's been some lying and spying over here. Uh, it has left somebody just really unwilling to um, accept any offer that comes in. But, like I said, there is this chance for this hopes, wishes, wishes, and dreams to come in with the Nine of Cups. Very happy card, very wish fulfillment, right? There's a chance for it to come in. And look, there is victory. It's coming. You're going to overcome all of this. All right, let's look at the Eight of Wands reversed. Why is it here reversed for the Pisces reading? Eight of Wands. Why is it reversed here? Too many. Just one or two, please. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed? There we go. King of Swords reversed. Yep. For some of you, for Pisces women especially, this man, this King of Swords, did something that really upset you. For Pisces men, you're coming through as the reverse King of Swords. And you're reversed and you're not moving forward. Nothing's moving forward for you. And that's probably why you're um, upset. There could have been information you were waiting for and never came in. There could have been forward movement. You could have put a halt on everything because it's something that happened here. You are coming through as uh, being in some kind of divine partnership with the King and Queen of Swords, both reversed. But like I said, there's been something. Now, I feel like some kind of lie came out as well. So there could have been some kind of lie that came out. All right. Page of Swords reversed. Why is it here, please? Pisces reading. Why is the Page of Swords here reversed? Seven of Pentacles. Illusions. Confusion. This Seven of Pentacles in this deck is all about abracadabra. Taking the innocence of a person and trying to confuse them. So yes, yeah, somebody was being sneaky and shady here. Purposely laying on the confusion. Why is the world here reversed? Now, 
Now, for some of you, there could have been some lie about a child, some confusion about a child as well. Why is the world reversed here, please? Oop, too many. Just one or two cards, please. The world in reverse. Nope, too many. Why is the world reversed? There we go. The tower. Whoa. All right, yeah. So whatever this was, this lie, I feel like there was a lie told. Something. It could have been about a child. No matter what it was, I feel like something, you know, caused the tower. It caused a situation to not be able to close out. In other words, a cycle could not close out because of this. Thing that happened now I do feel like the this cycle is going to close out which is graduation day it's fulfillment you're going to fulfill your soul contract to finish out this cycle right it's coming but it was put on hold because something came out and it caused a big tower let's look at the two of swords and the devil why is the two of swords and the devil here Oh my gosh, the wheel again. You've got the wheel in reverse again. So you have the wheel twice in reverse, the wheel of fortune and the world. This cycle is having a hard time closing out, but you got it with the nine of pentacles, okay? This is being single, being confident, being independent, being um, absolutely abundant as well. All right, so a decision has got to be made, I feel like, to detach yourself from this devil energy. Um, again, probably from whatever the lie was that was told. Could involve a child. All right. Decisions going to be made to detach yourself from a karmic person, a karmic energy, and be single. All right. And that's going to be the thing that's going to bring the world, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune in to start your new beginning, and that's what's going to allow the old cycle to finally close out. Right now, I feel like you're just a little bit stuck. There's a little bit of stuck energy going on in this reading, for sure. Um, and I fe feel like it all, you know, really has to do with some kind of lie that was told, possible lack of clarity about someone and a child too as well possibly let's get some after terror on this and see where that leads us to here spirit and angels anyone for the highest good now for men don't forget you could be in the reverse over here coming through as the emperor because you went through all this as well. So just flip-flop it if you're male or female, however it works for you. These energies can always flip the other way, all right? So, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Please tell us what comes next in the situation for this Pisces reading, what comes next? them okay what comes next please there you are king of wands what else comes next please one more oh okay wow all right so huh, this is interesting so we have two men coming through here king of wands and king of cups hold on one sec guys i want to plug back in my computer here all right, so we have King of Wands and King of Cups both coming out here at the end. 
All right, now, if we, you look closely, the King of Cups is dumping out his cup of love or his happiness or something here, but he's got another one in his other hand. There's going to be some kind of a new beginning here. Now, when I look at this, I feel like this is the King of Cups because, like I said, sometimes Pisces comes through as King of Swords for me. All right, and I feel like this is the Emperor. So, if you're, if you're the same person or you're dealing with only one person, they're coming in in these two energies like, like they did in the reading. One is fiery passionate, one is more loving, one looks like they're done with something and they're going to hand their cup to someone else or to you. Um, they were, I don't feel like this is going to, whatever this is, if this is a breakup, I think that it's going to stay a breakup. I think it's going to come to closure here with the death card. It's going to transform. There is going to be someone who's going to take a leap of faith. I think this is going to be the leap of faith someone takes when they decide to cut out the karmic and become single. Oops, single. That's what I think is going to happen here. And that's when all this comes in. It's like we're going to transform it. We're going to cut out the karmic and become single. Take a leap of faith for a new beginning. Um, for some of you, this is the person that you've been dealing with for others of you you are this person so and it could be two different people this could be two different men this reading could very well have been all about two men and the the real issue here is that there was some kind of secret or some kind of lie about a woman and possibly a child okay so hopefully you guys will understand this because this reading could, there was a, um, the two different men really did um, cause confusion in the reading because I'm not sure if they're the same men or two different men. I feel as though this is definitely the man, this fire sign man who caused issue. And I feel as though the Knight of Swords slash Knight of Cups was the one who was affected by the issues. Now, for some of you, you were a woman who was affected by this man, whatever he did. I feel like he told a lie or did something that involved a woman, probably you Pisces women, um, or somehow was involved with some lie surrounding you and possibly also involving a child. There could have even not only been lying, but there could have been spying as well. But either way, I do feel like this situation is going to transform. I do believe someone's going to uh, like decide to cut themselves loose of this because it was a very toxic situation and be very confident, independent, and abundant on their own. All right, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Yeah, look, bottom of the deck. Go into a place where there's peace. Go into peaceful times. All right, let's grab you a few angel cards. Angels, what should Pisces be focused on for uh, from November 5th to the 9th, 2019? What should they be focused on? Oop, got an extra one. Expectancy, understanding, birth. Oh, the birth of a child, possibly. Remember, we were talking about a child. Some of you, there could be question about a child. Not only that, but when I look at the wheel that's in reverse, she's pregnant too. Look at her. Okay? So, if there's something about of the birth of a child or anything that's being um, an expectancy, look. Is someone expecting a child to be born here? beautiful is someone pregnant it's possible but it seems to be that there's something about this questioning whose child this is or something about the child for some of you this birth just means new and you know and it has to do with newness not everybody's pregnant obviously uh, somebody needs to have understanding in this situation and you've got a blank one I'm gonna get you another one hold on another one for Pisces please creativity all right so Wow, was someone being creative about the birth of a child and the expectancy dates? <laughs> I don't know. But understanding is here as well. So try to have understanding with whatever it is. Maybe this was a big mistake. You have the blank one. So um, for me, I usually give you guys a bit of advice what I think. I, I'd say that it's time to close out this cycle. I feel like there's a lot of clinging energy here. So my only advice would be to move forward so that we can 
close out this cycle because you got a new cycle trying to come in. And with the new cycle, you'll end up getting new energy. It does look like it happens at the end because this is like the end and the beginning, right? The end card and the beginning card. So I feel like it's going to happen. So I would say just stay focused on that. I don't have too much advice for this reading, really. Um, this reading looks to me like for the, for some of you and whoever, you're not all going to resonate with this, but some lie was told it could have been, have to do with a woman and or a child. All right. And I feel like, um, somebody is really trying to deal with that because it caused a lot of trouble. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Um, please comment down below if you know what this is about. Of course, for most of you, this is probably not going to have to do with pregnancy or a child or, you know, that you know, make it work the way it would work for you. The the birth and the expectancy could be a new beginning, creative beginning coming through for someone and someone who did some sneaky shady stuff, but it is going to be overcome. This is definitely going to be overcome here with the um, Six of Wands here, and there is hopes, wishes, and dreams trying to come through here for someone as soon as the cycle can end and begin. You need the new, the Wheel of Fortunes here twice saying, hey, we're waiting for you to make a decision. It's really about a decision that needs to be made, I feel. Because of all that happened here, like a decision needs to be made, which is going to spring into action that new beginning that you need. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if this reading made sense to anyone, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye.